Hey everybody, welcome. Today I'm going to provide an update on the Bitcoin PSR. What is the PSR? That is the price to sales ratio for the Bitcoin network. All right, so here we have the Bitcoin price chart uh, in log scale on the left hand axis all the way up until a couple days ago, June 29th. 2023 for a few days we've been over thirty thousand dollars for bitcoin all right log scale so this is much smoother than it would look on linear scale and i want to provide an update to a multiple that i actually have not seen any other outlets or researchers talk about uh, see my prior videos if you want the full breakdown on what the psr is uh, but basically price to sales ratio that is uh, a typical stock market metric where you can take the market cap of a company and you divide it by the revenue of a company. That's going to give you a multiple. Uh, it, it is not comparable across industries, but it is comparable within an industry. And so it might be something like two, three or four, meaning uh, the market cap is four times higher than annual revenue. Or it might be something like 20 or 30. It just depends on the sector. It depends on the industry. Uh, but within the industry, because remember, this is a before expense number, uh, it is comparable within the industry. So if you want to compare tech companies or you want to compare auto manufacturers, it is comparable within an industry. Now, in the blockchain industry or the Bitcoin industry or the decentralized money space, we have a lot of competitors to Bitcoin, but nothing is really close at all. And uh, before they were doing the ultrasound money trope, uh, even the ETH heads weren't saying that Ethereum was comparable to Bitcoin. Uh, you know, that's what the gas stuff and all those different fees, like it was supposed to be uh, more of a commodity, whereas Bitcoin was money. Nonetheless, let's not get into that too much. We can do a PSR for Bitcoin. Okay, so how would the PSR for Bitcoin be calculated? Basically market cap, as it says there in the chart, market cap divided by the trailing 12 month revenue. And the trailing 12 month revenue right now is about $8 billion. All right, so that's every day. Uh, Transaction fees plus the block reward every day, uh, roll that over a 365 day period by the price of Bitcoin at that day, you'll get up to a, uh, a dollar value, which is Bitcoin's uh, network revenue for miners. And that number uh, has been as high as 15, 16 billion dollars. Right now it's about eight billion dollars. So when you take the market cap, which is not shown on this chart, and the revenue, which is not shown on this chart, you divide them by each other, uh, you'll get a multiple, okay? And that multiple is here, okay? So multiples can help you a lot. Obviously, when they go crazy, which they did here in uh, 2013, twice, here in 2017, and leading up to it f a few times, actually, in 2017, but really blow off top in December 2017, and they did here in March 2021, uh, you can see that this really helps you to see if this is an anomaly, what price the price boom is doing if it's really an anomaly. And uh, you can indeed see that uh, this is an interesting valuation metric. Okay, so this doesn't take into account minor expenses. It doesn't take into account the cost structure of miners. It simply looks at the market cap divided by the revenue that miners make on a trailing 12 month basis, okay? So where are we today? The PSR is 75X, 75X, okay? So the market cap of Bitcoin is 75 times higher than Bitcoin miner or Bitcoin network revenue on a trailing 12 month basis. All right, so if you just looked at this, uh, with our eyes, you know, sort of generally uh, trying to understand where we are. If we see a number like 75, that's definitely on, seems to be on the higher side, okay? Because, you know, in the crypto winter, we were down to like five, six, seven X, you know, early days, 2011, early 2012, six X, five X, two X, one X, even incredibly, uh, which again means trailing 12 month minor revenue in dollar terms equals the Bitcoin market cap at that particular time. Uh, and whereas you look at the booms, you know, 100x here in 2017, um, let's get the exact again, 170x in 2021. 
Okay, so we are below that, but 75X does seem kind of high, doesn't it? Okay, so to get a better sense of where we are uh, from that perspective, let's run a trend line. Okay, and I always like to do trend line analysis. It very much helps because we can run uh, percentiles, uh, standard deviations from those trend lines. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Here's the trend line in orange. Okay, this is a power regression of 60%, which isn't a great R squared, but this is the best fitting trend line that there is. Regardless, you can see that the trend for the PSR is up. Okay, so whereas in the early days, it was, you know, could be even 1x. Uh, market cap is only 1x revenue for miners on a trailing 12 month basis. Where now the, the trend line itself is about 55, 55x, uh, 56x, okay? And whereas the actual PSR is 75x, the trend line is 56x. So we are above trend, we can say. We're above trend at the moment. But how far above trend? That's another interesting thing to ask. So from there, we got to draw one standard deviation down, one standard deviation up around the trend line. Okay, so I'm going to put one standard deviation down here in blue dotted line, other blue dotted line, one standard deviation up. And what does that mean? That simply means that any data that is inside of these blue bands, all right, between the two blue lines around the trend line, the orange trend line, this is going to happen 66% of the time, 67% of the time, two thirds of the time, the PSR is going to fall within these bands. Okay. But now look at the PSR itself in black in the black line and see when it has gone particularly above the blue line. All right. It's when it's gone above the blue line, that means outside of a one standard deviation move uh, outside of two thirds of the time percentile move. It's when you actually want to pay attention. Okay. See the price explode twice here in 2013 and again, three times really in 2017 from a PSR perspective. And in 2019, uh, there was a boom, but it didn't quite make it above the one standard deviation. And again, 2021. And notice the second boom in uh, October, November, barely got outside the one standard deviation move. And where we are today, well, we're above the trend line, above the orange line, but we are not above the one standard deviation line. So I would say, yeah, we're trending back up, clearly. I mean, price is trending back up. Market cap's going to be higher. The multiple's going to be higher. But it's not anything crazy yet. Okay, and to see crazy, let's go to two standard deviations. Okay, two standard deviations down, two standard deviations up. Uh, then that's crazy territory. Okay, and what is two standard deviations? That means anything that's outside of these red bands is a five percentile event. All right. In other words, ninety-five percent of the data is going to be inside of the red bands of the price action moves, the PSR uh, data points. Ninety-five percent are inside. So. Clearly, we can see, okay, when the data first started here, again, a trailing 12 month basis, that first blow off top to 30 bucks, uh, 35 bucks maybe uh, per Bitcoin in June 2011, uh, PSR was like 42. Then again, uh, we got here in 2013, blocked by the tooltip, but we got up to 72, uh, 70 in 2013. We're above the red line there, so this is a very rare event, very rare error. Again, once, only happened once in 2017, then it fell back below, and then 2021. So these are, you know, this is just the way markets work. Not financial advice. If you want to keep hodling, keep hodling. If you want to trade a little bit, trade a little bit. This is not financial advice, but this just shows you, you can uh, understand the price action of Bitcoin with some fundamental analysis. And this is fundamental analysis because I am using a distinct outside of the price action variable, which is minor revenue as a baseline. And so, you know, that's the denominator of the calculation, trailing 12 month network revenue. The numerator is the market cap. So that's a fundamental analysis uh, with Bitcoin. And we can s sort of see uh, where we are. So nowhere near a two sigma up move at the moment. Uh, we're halfway, let's say, between a uh, right on trend, which is 55 and, um, a one Sigma move up, which is 100, All right? You see that in the tooltip. One Sigma up is 102 X at the moment and where we are 75 X. So we're about halfway between, uh, 
between uh, those two uh, benchmarks. So not necessarily out of the ordinary. Okay, so if you want to keep buying, keep buying. If you want to sell some, sell some, do whatever you want. But uh, it's important, I think, if you want to understand the long term picture, not get caught up by the hype to use this percentile analysis to stay a little calm. And uh, by the way, this works as well on the downside. Okay, you can see on the downside, it's much smoother. You don't get the blow off tops, the blow off peaks, right, which are interesting to see. Uh, on the upside, but on the downside, let's just zoom in here to say the uh, second crypto winter here, the 2018, 2019 period. Uh, we did redline there, right? Which is a very rare air down when we puked from, you know, $6,000 Bitcoin to $3,000 Bitcoin at the end of 2018, right? Which is a full year after the blow off top and the ICO craze of 2017. So we did hit very rare air here, uh, you know, below the blue line, below the red line. Okay, a little bit in 2020, COVID start. Uh, and then the FTX debacle, all right, I have that in the timeline there. And all the other, you know, scams of 2021, when they puked out at the end of uh, 2022, all right, uh, we only went below the blue line, interestingly. So we didn't have an extreme, extreme drop this time. But now we're trending back up. So that's where we are, trending back up. Uh, I would say pay more attention when you get to these uh, to these benchmarks, right? The one sigma up, one sigma down move. And as it stands, we're moving up. So uh, hopefully the next time I review this, we're somewhere in the dotted blue line area, which would be interesting, right? As far as uh, attention that is being paid to Bitcoin and the market activity. Uh, but also, you know, it, it suggests a little bit ca of caution as well because this is a market. There are buyers and sellers, there are shorters, there are bulls and bears. And, um, you know, it's just uh, things that I think you should pay attention to if you're interested in the Bitcoin market. So hope that helped you. Thanks for watching.